Too much baggage.
Too much baggage. my friend. Stay a while and listen. do for you. Thank you. 
Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? Well, what can I do for you? Well, what can I do for you? What ails you, my friend? This sounds like a very dangerous place. If you venture there, please take great care. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and lit a book that speaks of a chamber of human bones. Well, a chamber of bone is mentioned in certain archaic writings that I studied in the libraries of the East. These tomes inferred that when the lords of the underworld desired to protect great treasures, they would create domains where those who died in the attempt to steal that treasure would be forever bound to defend it. A twisted but strangely fitting end. A fellow drinking peace? Okay, so listen. There's this chamber of wood, see? And his wife, you know, her, tells the tree. Because she got away. Then I says that might work against him, but if you think I'm gonna pay for this, you. Uh, yeah! Well, what can I do for you? Ah, no, nothing in this place. But you may try asking Cain. He talks about many things, and it would not surprise me if he had some answers to your question. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. I am afraid that I don't know anything about that, good master. Cain has many books that may be of some help. Good day! How may I serve you? I am afraid that I haven't heard anything about that. Perhaps Cain the Storyteller could be of some help. Over here.
I sense a soul in search of answers. You will become an eternal servant of the Dark Lords should you perish within this cursed domain. Enter the Chamber of Bone at your own peril.
I gotta pawn some of this stuff. My friend, stay a while and listen. What can I do for you? What ails you, my friend?
I gotta pawn some of this stuff.
Not enough mana. Too much baggage.
I gotta pawn some of this stuff. I gotta pawn some of this stuff.
I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Too much baggage. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Too much baggage. My friend, stay a while and listen.
Well, what can I do for you? What ails you, my friend? I sense a soul in search of answers. I sense a soul in search of answers.
I can see what you see not. Vision milky, then eyes rot. When you turn, they will be gone, whispering their hidden song. Then you see what cannot be. Shadows move where light should be. Out of darkness, out of mind, cast down into the halls of the blind.
Too much baggage. I got a pawn so <laughs> Ah! 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 
I got to pawn some of this stuff. baggage. My friend, stay a while and listen.
Well, what can I do for you? Well, what can I do for you? What ails you, my friend? I sense a soul in search of answers.
What can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen.
Hello, what can I do for you? What ails you, my friend? Before it was taken over by, well, whatever looks below, the cathedral was a place of great learning. There are many books to be found there. If you find any, you should read them all, for some may hold secrets to the workings of the labyrinth. I don't know what it is they thought they could see with that rock, but I will say this. If rocks are falling from the sky, you would better be careful. I sense a soul in search of answers. Oh, what can I do for you?
What? Why are you here? All these interruptions are enough to make one insane. <laughs> here, take this and leave me to my work. Trouble me no more. Your curiosity will be the death of you. Sorry, did I break your concentration?
Ah! <laughs> 
What ails you, my friend? I really don't understand why Ogden stays here in Tristram. He suffers from a slight nervous condition, but he is an intelligent and industrious man who would do very well wherever he went. I suppose it may be the fear of the many murders that happen in the surrounding countryside, or perhaps the wishes of his wife that keep him and his family where they are. My friend, stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? I sense a soul in search of answers.
I sense a soul in search of answers.
demons traveled to the mortal realm in search of the three brothers. These demons were followed to the mortal plane by angels who hunted them throughout the vast cities of the East. The angels allied themselves with a secretive order of mortal magi named the Herodrum, who quickly became adept at hunting demons. They also made many dark enemies in the underworlds. baggage.
It's hot down here. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. That didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Pepin is a good man, and certainly the most generous in the village. He's always attending to the needs of others, but trouble of some sort or another does seem to follow him wherever he goes. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What can I do for you?
Well, what can I do for you? Oh, what can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Griswold, a man of great action and great courage. I bet he never told you about the time he went into the labyrinth to save Wirt, did he? He knows his fair share of the dangers to be found there, but then again, so do you. He is a skilled craftsman, and if he claims to be able to help you in any way, you can count on his honesty and his skill. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? The axe? Aye, that's a good weapon. Balanced against any foe. Look how it cleaves the air. And then, imagine a nice fat demon head in its path. Keep in mind, however, that it is slow to swing. But talk about dealing a heavy blow! Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What ails you, my friend? I have made a very interesting discovery. Unlike us, the creatures in the labyrinth can heal themselves without the aid of potions or magic. If you hurt one of the monsters, make sure it is dead, or it very well may regenerate itself. What do we have here? Interesting. It looks like a book of reagents. Keep your eyes open for a black mushroom. It should be fairly large and easy to identify. If you find it, bring it to me, won't you? What ails you, my friend? Oh. 
Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Let me just say this. Both Garda and I would never, ever serve black mushrooms to our honored guests. If Adria wants some mushrooms in her stew, then that is her business. But I can't help you find any. Black mushrooms. Disgusting. It's a big black mushroom that I need. I sense a soul in search of answers. <laughs> 